So this is the 305 project. We're going to do a quick walk around to show you what we started with. We got two mid 60s 305 Superhawks. All in rough shape. Motors are seized. Get a close up. So this one's going to be quite an adventure. Cut fenders. Cool old. Seat's not in bad shape. Cool old uh, speedometer. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Not too many miles. And then this is the other one. This bike used to be a white one because I can see where the paint's chipping off. I don't know what we're going to do with that. But they are crusty and dusty. Engines are seized. So that means we're taking them apart. We're going to make them go. Good scope of what we start with because we want good pictures. Cracked headlights, somebody put head or blinkers on them. They didn't come that way. But that's what we that's what we're starting with. We're gonna peel the side covers and the seats off so that we can wash behind all this crap. Oh, Check this out, it's got the original tool kit. Check this out. Look at that old school tool kit. What a find. Hunting around for parts bikes and we got a bunch of different ones. But they're all 305 engines, but some of them had the frame swapped and stuff like that. But there's a lot of pieces and parts here that we're gonna need for this project. So it will be interesting. And what we want to do is build two whole bikes and we're going to build a cafe bike out of this blue one. And that's our goal on this deal. So we're going to start with five bikes and we're going to try to end up with three. And try to keep the cost reasonable. So let's get started. I think the first thing we need to do is just power wash them and get them halfway clean see what we really got because the dirt on these things is thick man look at that and that will let us know we better cover up these carburetors though that will let us know what we got to do now that we got the uh, tanks and seats and stuff off we're going to power wash the crap out of these Now that we got them power washed, they definitely look a whole lot cleaner. Check that out. Hey, it's amazing what a little bit of soap and water will do, huh? Check that one out. And now when I'm working on it, I don't have all greasy, dirty, grimy bolts to deal with. You know, I didn't get everything off. It will sure be a lot nicer to work on. What we'll do is, uh, We'll push these in the garage and let them air dry overnight and then we'll, change, we'll dump the oil out of them and try to pump some oil in the cylinders and lube things up. That we got them washed off real good and in the garage. We're going to turn a fan on and let these babies dry. It's dark out now but winter's coming. This is going to be our winter project. But boy, did these clean up nice compared to what we had. Looks like this bike used to be white. And someone painted it. We're going to have to do some research on the VIN number, I think. As you can see where all the black paint chipped off all over on this thing. So, obviously they used to make a white frame bike, and this was one of them. Pretty cool. 
check out all the white that's got to be factory white paint but boy they sure cleaned up we don't have stock pipes so we're gonna have to come up with something new there not bad though the other one isn't too bad we'll let these air dry and then we'll go to them with some WD-40 to keep them from rusting anymore Here's all our covers and our, they were really dirty, they're a lot better now. Still might have to wash them again, there's the tanks. We're looking for rust and if you, here's that one off that wood, this thing used to be white. So somebody took this apart and painted it and this is custom paint too, they, they custom paint bikes back then too. So that's what we got. I'll be looking for another one of those. But yeah, we'll have to clean all this up. This is kind of dull and I got some magic potion stuff that'll make that look like new. driving you'll be drooling. I was. <laughs> Thank you. 
leave a comment below like it share it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time